going on, guys? It's Jacob. Today we're playing some Redfall. I heard this game is really <laughs> so I had to see for myself. Layla has ex-boyfriend problems, but she has an umbrella, thank God. Dev is an internet famous cryptid cri hunter and ghost chaser. <laughs> this guy's a YouTuber. I want to be him. I think I woke up from a night of partying or something. I think I'm covered in my own piss. Oh no, that 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 might be blood. Uh oh, well I'm still covered in piss. Uh, she lost or something? Hey, I'm right here. Yep, there she is. she found me. Ooh, what you got for me? Evacuation notes. Can't read. I had a flashlight on me the whole time. Why didn't I just turn it on when I was getting assaulted by the vampires? What the hell? Ooh, I found a handgun. Don't mind if I do. Luckily, this woman had some ammo, too. Doesn't look like she shot herself, so I don't know why she had it in the first place. Who the hell was driving this boat, and how could you have possibly missed the ocean entirely? God, what a dumbass. What the hell are these people? I just, <laughs> I just shot them for no reason. So, on top of the vampires being a terrible think for all of humanity these people just went ahead and decided to join them which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me all right cop boys oh 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 my flashlight's still on i should probably turn that off how do i take stealth take down you what okay apparently elbowing him in his tailbone kills him what about you ma'am yep kills her too <laughs> kick them all up the arse no you elbowed them up in the arse technically. Alright, I guess we're back in town because the boat driver missed the ocean completely. What an idiot. Alright, I need to find the, where the flare came from. I'm guessing I only have one way to go because this is how open world level design vampire Almost games work. Wait, my stealth hasn't been broken. I just shot some woman in the face and they don't care. They didn't hear it. I would continue stealth, but to be honest, it's just unsatisfying as hell. So I'm just gonna shoot him in the face rather than elbow them up the ass. Ooh, a fancy necklace. I'll be taking that off you. It's nice to know that I can rob from the dead. <laughs> they don't hear me punching the stack of tables behind them. Yeah. What? What the actual fuck? <laughs> There we go, okay. Luckily, these guys are completely useless. You'll need a weapon with a stake. What the hell has a stake got to do with killing vampires? Hey there, I'm looking for a vampire. You look like one of the vampires. Hello, sir. Come on. And stake. Here's your steak, sir. Medium rare. The way- Oh, he's, he's he's dead. I like how the windows have zero detail to them whatsoever. <laughs> Just shooting them point blank with a shotgun does absolutely nothing. Here we are, Diviners, on Redfall, Massachusetts. Diviners? <laughs> he's vlogging right now. I'm just gonna leave the sink on and vandalize the place. <laughs> like the sticky bandits. Alright, can we get to the point where you give me a mission to go get some medical supplies or something instead of just talking my ear off? I thought this was a lost and found. This is 1500 and 1200 bucks. You're a feckin' scam. There's no economy anymore, but at least help me out here. Alright, diviners. Let's cancel this woman for trying to scam me blind. Don't I know you from somewhere? Oh, yeah. yeah I got like 1400 subscribers on YouTube right now. Yeah, you've probably heard of me. You know, I don't blame these guys for also trying to scam me for a bunch of money because the other woman around the corner is scamming them for a bunch of money yeah i can't afford anything here why was this tutorial to me camera's ready and i'm going to show the internet and therefore the world why am i risking my neck to vlog these vampire killings all right now i have to collect supplies for the fire station fun okay luckily that's not where i'm heading oh yeah they're just flying to the sun idiots what check for survivors no we're getting supplies makes me unhappy there we go okay that was easy like only two of them shot me ow no 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 okay that did a lot of damage ow where do i spawn please don't tell me the fire station where am i i'm at the fire station aren't i jesus christ all right turrets are incredibly dangerous noted what can i do with the lawnmower Oh, okay, the lawnmower just exploded. Ooh, what is this? I think I see some supplies. I'm just gonna assume that everyone in the helicopter died, and I'm just gonna take the supply crate. Wait, why did it shoot off a flare? No, I don't want to shoot off a flare. Well, okay, these guys... <laughs> what the hell is that? Get the hell out of here. Stay back. I probably shouldn't have given away my position with that flare. All right, and then I can just refill my ammo again after murdering them all. What the hell is this idiot looking at? Dumbass. It's very apparent that to join this call, you do not need to do an eye exam or a hearing test at all. What's this lady freaking out about? Dumbass. Come on, jump the fence. Come on, you can't possibly be this stupid. You're not a zombie. This isn't a zombie game, right? And I gotta say, the environment around you is quite underwhelming. Other than a few lawnmowers spontaneously combusting, like you can't break windows or do any of that fun stuff. I love vandalism. 
And these vampires aren't that scary. Oh, hold on. Wrong weapon, wrong weapon. There we go. The idea of I need a certain weapon out to, to stab them is a bad idea trying to help all these people from the helicopter crash. We're already struggling and we, because we don't have supplies and I'm going to need more supplies and more mouths to feed. My little electro stick that I throw out is actually incredibly OP. It just stun locks every enemy in the game. Here, step in this thing and you're an easy kill. A couple of blasts to the head and a stab to the heart. And he's dead. Killed a bunch of people. Hopefully they weren't any of the survivors of the helicopter crash. Oh, this this woman died. Well, there's your proper burial. Usually in these Bethesda games, you can like interact and carry bodies or like cut off limbs or something. But nope, not this one. Oh man, do I need a flare gun so bad? <laughs> it's a double barreled flare gun. Why would you need to shoot two flares? All right, everyone died, but luckily the radio is perfectly intact. Ooh, mysterious gr grave lock? Collect them to hear echoes of her story and earn bonuses to psychic residue regeneration. Cool. I'm sorry. But what the hell does that even mean? Last time I checked, I didn't have any residue on me unless I did poorly of wiping, which wouldn't be the first time. Thank you for letting me know how to ping. I, I'm, I'm by myself, by the way. Jesus Christ, they crash all the way up there in the mountain? Dude, this isn't worth it. A hay bale? What is the point of this? Okay, I, 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 I lit the hay bale on fire, and it, that was burning me from this distance. Oh, more of these hollow men weirdos. Wait, they, they work for the vampires? I'm so confused. So instead of becoming vampires, they decided these vampire guys who were, like, killing all of humanity got a point and then joined them? I don't get it. Kick them all up the ass. That's like your seventh time saying it. Did you record any other line for this game? Wait, so when I loot things, it just it instantly becomes money unless I can consume it? Like, roll of toilet paper. $75 for roll- Jesus Christ, the economy is fucked in this universe. You know, if stealth was any more satisfying, I think I would consider it, but it's really not. Especially when I can just throw my little baton at them and then they all just are stunlocked. <laughs> That's my favorite feature of this game. Alright, the only thing that can change my mind about this game is if Bigfoot came around a corner up here in the mountains. Or better yet, Shrek. Portable UV beam. So I have a light gun. I would just rather shoot them. Like, how? I'm not even standing on the fire. How does that do damage to me? Oh, a high end flare gun. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, look at all this fire. I can't walk through here without dying. All right, I'm taking their mission report. Can't read it. I'll give it to someone back at base. Unlock the translocate beacon. Oh, I can just teleport 10 feet away. Jesus Christ, what a superpower. You can't drive the ATVs, there's no vehicles in this game either. And I guess the open world is- Oh, I'm dead. What? What? Yeet. Let's get moving! It landed. Oh, okay. That's actually not the most useless thing in the world. Works pretty well for traversing this shit open world. Which is the size of like a two suburban neighborhoods. I could run the distance of the map in probably like two or three minutes tops. <laughs> Needs power. How does a door need power? And it looks like it does, considering all the lights on next to it are on. Uh, I'm done asking questions. It just makes this game look a lot worse. All right, let's just turn on the generator and go down there. Be nice and safe in my new safe house. Here they come. Like how you didn't even shoot at me, you just kind of let it happen. Oh, I don't think the game pauses when you pause. All right, I'm just gonna enter the safe house. Hopefully these people don't follow me in. Anything you can do will make a difference. Yeah, anything you can do can make a difference too, but I don't see you doing jack shit. You just sit at home with your overpriced lost and found goods. You're an idiot. By the way, I like how those pings just never go away. That's a great feature as well. Hello? Oh. Do you work here? Some help. I'm gonna take that as a no. I'm just here for some cigarettes, dude. Jesus Christ, you don't need to kill me. Some jitter jug, some funda. Mmm. This is the- I think this is the only glass that's been breaking throughout the entire game. Oh no, the glass, this glass is breaking in here. Okay, I guess glass it just has a mind of its own. But we're at the sporting goods store, picking up some baseballs. Apparently they're in high demand right now. I'm getting 50 bucks per baseball. Hey, there we go. We got some useful stuff out of here. 
Oh, someone's talking on the radio, some stupid commercial, just turn that off. Alright, is that all I had to get and I could just bring it back to the safe house? Dr. Home would like his father's watch to be placed at his mother's grave site? What a lame thing to request during a vampire apocalypse. Alright, and I can only accept one mission at a time. That's that's it. So I have to go to drop off a watch in the middle of a graveyard, which uh, just doesn't seem very practical f for me right now. So I think that's where we're going to end it for today. And I'll be honest, I'm not going to sit here and review and bash this game further. You guys saw how just absolutely soulless this game is. I remember the Dishonored games, Deathloop. Some of those games are just some of my favorite by Arcane Studios. And it's a shame to see how far they've fallen with this absolute steaming pile of crap. A like and a comment with your feedback would be very much appreciated. If you are new, consider subscribing. In the meantime, check out some more of my videos here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.